All right, so to leverage the CRM within our platform, there's a few things that you have to configure to be able to use it properly. And one of the most important is your phone line. So setting up a phone line to where you can make in-browser calling, send text messages, set up a desktop VoIP line, set up a soft phone, uh, set up any kind of voicemails and things like that, you're gonna need to configure a VoIP line type within our platform. And to do that, you're gonna come under controls, you're gonna click on settings, and then you're gonna click on voice. So here you have the option of adding voice, just click this button here. And just like the call forwarding type, you have several different other types, uh, video to follow on IVR, but IVR is press one for sales, press two for support, and setting up your phone tree. The type we're looking for is VoIP, so you're going to select VoIP. And then the next option is going to be number type. So in US and Canada, local and toll free are the ones you're going to use. And um, local, that's where you're going to look for your area code. And then toll free, you have an option of selecting 877 or 855 and those options. Uh, internationally, depending on where you're at, you may still use local, you may use mobile. Uh, there may be only mobile lines available, uh, national line or fixed line. And you would just, you know, again, search through our inventory, select your country and find the right line for you. But just make sure you have VoIP set up. That's what's going to be used in your CRM. So in this case, I'm going to keep it United States. So I'm going to do 512 for uh, Austin. And then workspaces, so you can assign a VoIP line to your workspace, and what that means is when you're in that workspace, that number is your default line. In this case, I'm gonna, or you can just not select the workspace, and that line will be your global line you can use throughout any workspace on the system. So I'm gonna ahead and click Find Numbers. So what this is gonna do is bring in um, you know, a few numbers, actually five of the numbers within our inventory that match your search. Uh, it's also going to show you the type. So in this case, SMS, MMS, and voice capable for this line. If you set up a VoIP line for toll free, you will not have SMS capabilities. It will only be voice, so you can receive calls and, and call, uh, outbound call, but you can't send SMS. So in this case, um, I'm presented with these local numbers. Now, one tip that I tell everyone is to go out on Google and search that actual line. Because of the inventory, this may be a line that a business owner had used you know months ago or years ago and it's still uh, indexed on google or still on their website because they never took it off and they stopped paying for it so you know these lines come from all over all different types of carriers so you know if you want to limit some of your spam calls you know go search out on google make sure it's not on a website that's you know listed out there that you know robo calls can come from in the masses um, so just always search your line in this case i'm not too worried about it so i'm going to go ahead and select this one and hit activate line so right now my line's actually all set up uh, and to go in and start configuring additional options for it you can either click directly on the number itself or click on the edit icon so if i click on the number i'm presented with a lot of different options the first section here is the information that you will use to set up a soft phone uh, zopier or ground wire there's a lot of good apps out there on um, you know Android and iOS that so you can download and plug this information in and turn your cell phone into your VoIP line and then if you have a desktop phone that's VoIP, you know, VoIP uh, desktop you can plug this information in and use these credentials uh, which gives you your username and password and your SIP line what's important here is that you know we build your username based on your first initial and last name I mentioned in previous videos, it is important to ensure that you have that profile filled out with first name and last name because this is one of the assets in the system that we use. So don't forget to put in first name and last name uh, within your profile of your users. Uh, this is the reason why. This setting here for voicemail, you can click here and go find your file and upload. MP3 or WAV format is the only format that will actually play for your voicemail. Uh, one tip that I always say is if you have spaces in your file name, just replace them with underscores or no space or dash um, just because of how the servers react um, you know passing that file type over sometimes and may, may not play with the highest quality or may be disrupted or things like that just make sure you don't have spaces especially if you're doing voicemail drops um, make sure you have no spaces in your file name and just upload here and select this is if you want to use a voicemail, we do have a default prompt, uh, just please leave a message. Um, display name, so our caller ID uses the phone lines number that you call out on, but it also includes a caller name, 
which depending on the carrier will pick that up. Uh, we use first name and last name of the profile. However, you can overwrite that here and put whatever name you want in here, such as your business name or anything you like. Uh, forwarding unanswered calls. So this is if you want to bypass our voicemail system and forward that to your cell phone or anywhere else you want it to forward to. Of course, they can't leave a voicemail on our system anymore because it's being forwarded to whatever additional line. The format for that, so if I were to come in here and just do this and leave that in there, this will not work because there's dashes and you know you can't have any spaces, dashes or anything else and including there's no country code. So it's important to include your country code. So one's our country code here, 512, whatever, right? So now this is the right format for forwarding unanswered calls. This is also the same format for SMS voicemail notifications. So you do get an email when you get a voicemail with the link to listen to the voicemail and also to go directly into the call. But SMS voicemail notifications will send you a text message with the actual voicemail link so you can click on and listen to that call, that voicemail. Uh, Whisper, we covered that in the call forwarding video, but Whisper is basically if you want to alert yourself whenever the call comes in to tell you where this call is coming from. You know, if you have several different lines, you may want to know exactly what line they're, you know, they're, or what campaign they're calling from. So it's just, you can put anything you want in here uh, and it'll voice prompt you and you can press one to answer the call. So it just gives you a heads up where that call is coming from. External device only. This is if you do not want to use an in browser based call-in. So some, uh, you know, have soft phones. They also have a desktop phone. They also have browser based calling enabled. And what ends up happening is the system will only ring one of those devices. And most of the time, if you're logged into the browser, it's the most active one. So depending on your refresh rate on your desktop phone or your refresh rate on your soft phone, more than likely your browser will take the call uh, first or be the first one to, to accept the call. Um, so if you want to prevent that, you can click external device only and it will not call your browser at all and you can't make calls out of the browser at that point. The benefit of that is let's say you're going to be away for a while, uh, you can turn this off and you know all calls will always come to your uh, cell, you know, cell phone or um, you know, if you if you leave your browser open, if this external device only is set on, then you don't have any risk of calls going to your browser. Uh, disable call recording, depending on your state, you may not want to record calls, you can select that. And then also transfer user, we covered that in the previous video, but this is if you set up a VoIP line, maybe you're an admin, you're setting them all up in a single uh, account, and then now you want to transfer it to a user, or maybe after the fact you've added some users and you want some of those lines to go over to your user, you can select a user here and this will send that line directly over to that user. Uh, ringless voicemail drops. So this is important. It's, it's super important you don't have any spaces or dashes. Uh, I mean, any spaces, replace them with dashes or underscores. When you're dropping a voicemail and it's playing, you know, sometimes it won't play. Sometimes it, you know, just won't drop if you have spaces in it because it replaces in the browser. Uh, your browser is designed to replace percentage, you know, an empty space with the actual filler in it. That doesn't work when you're doing server to server. So depending on uh, the carrier, you may not be able to leave the voicemail if you have spaces in it. So include space, you know, remove spaces or add dashes or underscore. You're just gonna select the recording and you're gonna go ahead and apply that into um, this section here. I have a video specifically on ringless voicemail that you can watch that I go through all the steps here, but this is what this is gonna control. So this will allow you when you're placing a phone call, uh, when they come to the end of the beep, say, hey, leave me a message. You can drop that voicemail and at that point it will hang up the call for you. Uh, so there is a video that covers this, uh, but these are your primary settings. So now at this point, your VoIP line is set up and you can make calls directly within uh, the browser. Um, and I have a video that to follow on how to make your first call.